right, talking about moving around the place and uh, trying to keep mm -hmm. track of uh, folks, you wanted to talk about vehicle tracking. That's right, good segue. I what is the, vehicle tracking? I went to the Consumer Electronics Expo and there were lots of things and vehicle tracking was a big one. Now, if it is that you have your car and you want to know where your car is, if you're not in it, a vehicle tracking system is going to help you. Oh, if I'm not in it, oh, you mean, well... If somebody stole it, then Someone you can know it. where it is. Or if you lent it out to your driver, if you lent it out to your teenage daughter or something oh, like that. Oh, really? You need to know where your vehicle is. So what? You, 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 like in the movies, you stick something underneath the car and then it gives off a signal and I can see it? Almost like that. But if you just stick it under the car, it might drop off. You might drive through yeah. a forwarding and it float away. So you want to go to one of the security companies on the island uh -huh. and they're going to install it in a secure hidden location. So if someone steals your car, they don't know where to find it. They won't know. And but there isn't any bug detector that they can use to figure out that it's there? All things are possible but we're hoping that we don't have that level of organized crime just yet. Uh, Alright, and then so the car, they drive off with the car yes. or some, as you say, y your daughter drives yes. off with the car and how you know where the car is? Some of the companies in Jamaica allow you to log on to a secure website, put in a password and voila, you can see where your car is anywhere on the island. More or Real less. time? Real time. You can watch it driving down <laughs> Linders Road, parking up at Fame FM. Wives could uh, yeah. get this technology, yes. couldn't they? Yes, yes, I do always <laughs> break it down to that. If your teenage daughter says she's going to the movies, and when you look, it's not Carp Theater she's at, but okay. um, Russell Heights, you might say. So this is what? available right now? Available right now. You can drive into one of those security companies. It takes anywhere between 30 minutes and an hour and a half to install, depending on exactly the model that you're installing and you can drive off knowing that you have peace and security if someone carjacks you if someone breaks into your home yeah. if you lend out your car you'll know where it is this is also good for companies to know where their fleet is mm -hmm. it's great and for fleet tracking and you can also get all sorts of real-time data to know not just where the vehicle is but how long it took to get there what the traffic conditions were like um, how much fuel that it took and then you can crunch those numbers to have really? a more efficient system yes very sophisticated mm -hmm. now if you're carjacked Obviously, your car would have a lock. Yeah. Chances are your car may have a kill switch. Yeah. Chances are you may have an alarm on your car, and all of these are preventative measures. Right. right? Now, if they unfortunately somehow get into the car, whether it is that you're carjacked or they steal it, you want to be able to recover your car. Yeah. And the police can use this technology as well to find out exactly where your car is, go there, pick it up, drive it back to you untouched, which is a really great feature. It is. And it's going to save you money on your <coughs> car insurance too. But if you install this feature, ideally, in every single car, mm -hmm. no car would ever get stolen again. Quite possibly. Until we find a way to beat the system. My brain is moving faster than, than you can even believe now. Okay. Let's go. Suppose we move from vehicle tracking to phone tracking. Yes. And you install something in your phone, whoever steals it, you know where the phone is you all the time. Once the phone is on. Uh, don't spoil the idea <laughs> just yet, but obviously somebody's stealing it to turn it on. Yes, yes. and uh, they they could set up something like that. Mm -hmm. They most certainly could. That's a good idea by me. Yes, um, I'm gonna call up the companies and tell them to copyright it for you. There, there you go. Um, how much does this cost? Do you know? Yes, the I do. vehicle tracking. No, the the installation is a one-time cost. But right. the monitoring can be anywhere between four thousand and eight thousand dollars a month. Oh, it's a recurring thing. I yes. thought you said I just turn on my website and I go and I see it. Sure, and in order to have that continuous website access, you have to pay for it. You have to pay a monthly subscription fee. And that's about four thousand dollars. Eight thousand, depending on which service you go with. And how much is the one-off big-time guy? The one-off installation can be as low as $25,000. Um, well, I guess people have to decide so how much they the really other, need you know, it. It's both. I, I understand right. that. Mm -hmm. Uh, people would have to decide if that's uh, worth. If it's worth it to them. Yeah. I mean, if you have a high-end car, you have a really hot car. I think it's worth it because you want to make sure that you get that car back. Yeah. If you're driving, I don't know, a, a, then again, that but might be a high-end car, a 76 Cortina. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but, but if you have a high-end car, isn't it less likely it's going to be stolen? Maybe if you have a white Toyota Corolla, mm -hmm. you want to get this. What if it's carjacked? What if you're in the car and they take you out of it? Do people do that out here? Unfortunately, yes, they do. Mm. Let's not talk about the negatives, though. Let's talk about the All positives. Right. And another feature that um, a number of these devices have, you, you may have a, a carjack alarm on your car, and once a person drives off after 30, 45 seconds, the car shuts off. I've heard of that. Unfortunately, uh, 
and it's happened to me, you may shut off in the street and someone may crash into the car. That's not going to help you. <laughs> Some of these devices have fantastic features that allow the criminal to drive away with your car and shut it off. But once it's shut off, it can't turn on again. And you're saying that may be a bad thing? No, I think that's a good thing if, if it waits until the person turns it off as opposed oh, to no, shut it off but inexplicably. Y you are saying that when they have that delayed switch that 30 seconds after the car has been stolen it shuts off, you don't like that? No, because I don't know where it's shutting off. It could be in the middle of an intersection or it could be close enough to me that they just jump out. <laughs> come right back for you <laughs> and they're upset with you. Okay. That's unfortunate. No, if it is that you don't have a lot of money, you can install vehicle tracking yourself. You know, coming off of your idea, you can use like a modified phone with a GPS navigation system and install yeah. that in your car yourself. And then, you know, you can call into your car using that modified phone and it can tell you where your car is. But I don't really recommend your self-installation. It's going to be a lot cheaper, isn't it? It's going to be a lot cheaper, but also less reliable. Because when you have the backative, as we would say, of one of those security companies, you can just sit down at home and they're going to drive your car back to you. They're going to call the police. They're going to mm. work with the police to recover the car. In fact, there was a car theft ring that was busted the other day, I heard, yeah. in part because of what we would call like the Jamaican lojack system. So. All right. Otherwise, you're on your own. Um, does this have a problem in certain areas um, yes. where the, I don't know what kind of signal they use, but could they be totally island wide or could the mountains block the signal or something? Excellent question. Don't give, don't give the uh, robbers any ideas. No, but, I won't yeah. tell them where the black spots are, but that's what mm. they're called, black spots. But okay. Unfortunately, the car won't be able to send that signal to let you know where it is. And there are a few black spots around the island. We won't say where they are. Though. All right. We won't give the criminals any clue. But this is this is a neat trick, and I think business people, uh, suspecting wives, uh, parents. Uh, parents who are <laughs> can can do this and, yes. and, and uh, track business track down the vehicle. Business making lodgments, things of that nature. Yeah, man, it's a very good feature. Heaven okay. forbid you're thrown in the trunk of your car, oh, and boy. the police need to find out where you are. This is going to help. It's uh, a couple of uh, topics that are really helpful for lifestyle in, in the day and age that we live. Uh, Carla decided to look it up. Where can we uh, get more information on this? I'm proud to say that I stayed up last night and I uploaded this information to our blog, which is famemornings.blogspot.com. You can log on right now for information about everything that we spoke about this morning. You can interface with us. I like that word that Francois used. Yes. Which is, you can email us at famefm at rgrgroup.com. And we really read the emails and respond. So please send us a message or you can text us right now if you have a question would you be willing to install this system this vehicle tracking system in your car text us and let us know at 878 F A M E very good they know the text number yes all right uh, thank you very much for coming by Colin Bye. again here with us and uh, you already know what next week's topic I is am. I Coming off again of the Consumer Electronics Show, which was great personal entertainment. You wouldn't believe. You know what that sounds like. That sounds rude. Oh, Carla, we will not talk about pers personal entertainment. We're going to be talking about home theater and audio systems, Francois. Lift up your. <laughs> <laughs>